hi, this is Matt. Previously in uh, another video, I looked at the wire and these two um, operation of that. So just a quick look at the right filter. So if you're not with, familiar with what the right filter does, you can see on that uh, the admin desktop, I've got two scripts, one to disable it and one to enable it. I can see that I'm currently enabled. You can see there's an icon down there. So let me just run the script to disable. And then whilst that's taking effect, I'll talk a little bit about what's happening. So the right filter is there to protect the operating system, stop users or anyone accessing the machine from making changes, um, storing anything. So it kind of makes it a very much a read only operating system. So by double clicking on that script, essentially what I've done is disabled the right filter. So that means the operating system's then kind of unlocked and open and I could make changes. So it'd be very common for people to, to do some customizations and configurations. So um, disable it and then maybe remove some software they don't require, change wallpaper, maybe change local admin passwords, those sort of things. So I've just disabled it. It's going to go through the reboot. I'm going to make a very simple change and then you'll see what that actually looks like um, and what that process kind of looks like. So it's going to go in as the user account. So the desktop that I disabled the right filter on was actually um, the Wise admin account. So it's only the admin that has those scripts on the desktop to enable and disable the right filter. So when we go in as the user, I'll take a look there to see if I can make any changes. If I can't, because it's locked down, then I'll go in as the admin account, make them in the admin account, and then reapply. And then when it reboots and goes back in as the Wise user, you'll see some of those changes. Okay, so one thing you'll notice um, is that you don't get any notification down the bottom here of whether a right filter is enabled or disabled. I guess the real logic there is that the user account shouldn't care. If I, for example, wanted to remove that desktop shortcut, and say yes to that, I'm going to remove the Citrix shortcut, and say yes to that, and what I'm going to do. Um, so then you can just see that I'm being told the right filter is off. So what I'm basically just warning me what I'm doing is going to be stored. It's going to going to stay. So let me just quickly log off. Um, so sign out. I've done the shift key. And that will break that auto login cycle. Okay. Now I'll switch to wise admin. And that will go through. Okay, let's just make one other change. And um, I'm going to go to C users. Uh, sorry, users. Oops. Look what I'm typing, um, and then I'm going to go to the Wise Admin account. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do Wise Admin account. I'll drop back to Wise User. Uh, sorry, Wise User. Um, go through to that. It's fine. We go to the um, current desktop shortcuts. So if we go to desktop, you can see Internet Explorer there. So I'm going to remove that as well. Close that. And then just before I re-enable it, you'll see the red icon. So right filter is off. I think by the fact we kept being warned it was off, we knew that, but I'm going to apply. And as you can see, the IE icon is still on that Wise Admin desktop. That's because I'm making a change just to the user account, not to the whole, whole machine or whole operating system. So upon reboot, this is going to go back in. So it's going to do a number of things. It's going to go back in as the Wise user account. The right filter will be re-enabled, so I'll protect, be protected but we will no longer have the Citrix or Microsoft RDP shortcuts on the desktop, and we won't have IE Explorer anymore. The reality is that if you're doing things with the right filter, you're gonna do something a bit more um, meaningful than what I've done. What I've just done is just to demonstrate what's happening and how it works. The reality is you'll set you know, default internet settings, proxy settings, uh, wallpapers, create connections to your Horizon Farm as an example, whatever else. So as that's just coming back in, that should go straight back in as um, 
that wise user account again so when i as the admin you know logged off and, and broke that cycle that's just for that specific log on it's not breaking it totally it's just so that i could log in as the wise admin account by holding down that shift key Okay, so you can see in shortcuts con, it's not coming back. Um, obviously I manually deleted the Microsoft and the Citrix ones. <clears throat> and then through the admin account, I went on to delete the IE Explore. That's just a quick uh, demo example of how that right filter works. Um, you know, hope this was of use. Thanks for your time.